An event marking the completion of a formation of His Majesty's Government, adapting to new and innovative ways of doing things in the time of COVID-19 pandemic. Observing the social distance and wearing the mask is a new order of the day. And that in all things, I will be true and faithful to the Prime Minister and Minister. So help me God, so help me God. First, the Deputy Prime Minister's oath, followed by the rest of the Cabinet. For the first time, the Ministers taking their oath in groups of five, so as to spend as little time as possible. The new Deputy Prime Minister admits that it is not going to be a smooth sail. Problems will be there, but we'll have to manage, manage them for the sake of the country and the sake of uh, unity and progress in the country. And finally, your three key priorities that you would want to see, saying you have achieved something in this post year is building the economy of the country, fighting diseases such as COVID and HIV and AIDS, and making sure that we deliver uh, services to our people. For many who have been waiting patiently for service delivery, this is yet another set of promises. Basutu will get to decide who to give their mandate to in the next 2022 national elections. History has been made. For the first time, the two biggest parties have come together to form a coalition. They have somehow managed to build a cabinet that can work together to reach to the interests of Basotho. But the interesting part is whether they can actually see eye to eye to build the economy, to meet the expectations of Basotho, and whether this is the cabinet that can actually go all the way to the year 2022. I'm Rabelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserole Soto.